This is a quick video covering the functionality of the Turntabler plugin for ZBrush. After you have the plugin downloaded and installed, just simply launch ZBrush. Then you can navigate to the Z plugin palette at the top here, and the Turntabler plugin will be located here. I'm just going to dock this to the side quick. So I'm going to come to the top here. I'm going to click on this icon and then just drag it over to the right tray. So now my Z plugin tab is now in the tray here. Now the Turntabler plugin will allow you to create turntable image sequences of your model with different passes. Now the passes that can be created are AO, BPR, depth, lights, masking, preview, shadow, and subsurface scattering. To use the plugin, you first just need to select which passes you want rendered by just simply coming over here and activating or deactivating these buttons. After you have your passes set, you can now determine how many frames you want generated for the turntable. The default setting will be 30, and if you want to change this, you can just simply come down here, type in a new value, and hit enter. Now the next thing you need to do is position your model. Now in order for the turntable or plugin to work, your model must be positioned in a front, back, or side view. So if Earthquake here is off angle like this, and now I click generate turntable images, you will receive a dialog that's going to tell you that your model is not positioned facing the front, back, or side on the canvas. So you just want to make sure that your model is positioned in one of those angles before you click this Generate Turntable Images button. Now after you have your model positioned and framed to your liking, just click this button here. A dialog will pop up and this will allow you to select a folder to store the images into. And you can also set a prefix for the images that will be stored. So I'm just going to change this to Earthquake. And then I'm just going to click Save. And ZBrush will now start processing the turntable images. As this process is completing, you can navigate to the folder where the images are going to be stored. And you can see the images that are being generated. So here we have the BPR passes being generated and also the mask passes being generated. After the process completes, you can then take these files and import them into external applications to generate different effects and turntable movies. So that is a quick rundown on the Turntabler plugin for ZBrush. The plugin can be downloaded from the download center on pixelogic.com. I hope that helps, and happy ZBrushing!